If you really want to know the truth, the truth will, will set you free. Or you can accept it. You can just go on and deny the truth. But whenever something is mentioned to you or something is said and it, it causes a reaction in you, it causes you to re resist. It causes you to rebel against it. Why? Examine. Why is that? Why is this disturbing? Because a lie, you can just let go, but a truth always comes back to you. It comes back around. A truth just keeps coming back. You can deny the truth, but the truth will be back again tomorrow. You'll think about what I'm saying tomorrow or next week. So you're constantly having to deny it. Our bodies are designed by God a certain way. We're not quadrupeds. We don't, you know, on all fours. We, we, we're bipeds, right? It's called bipeds. In other words, we, we stand upright. Carnivores are quadrupeds usually because they have to chase their prey. And they have to chase and catch. They have to have speed and fast to be able to do, to do that. Their intestinal tract is made to digest meat and things like that rapidly. Their teeth for carnivores are long for cutting meat and for eating and, 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 doing, and certain things like that. But we that eat grain, our teeth are not meant. You know, some people chew meat. It's difficult for some people to chew it. You're chewing a long time because we're just not meant to consume it. It's not intended for us. We can, but we're not intended for us. Our dig digestive tract in here is over 30 feet. Did you know that? 25 to 30 feet, just as you digest food, has to go through all of this process. Whereas carnivores, real carnivores, that digestive tract is so short, which means by the time they eat something, within a short time, it's out of them. When we eat things that we're not intended to eat, it has a long time it goes through our bodies trying to digest. So when you eat meat, it can take you one to three days to digest and finally get rid of the meat that you ate a couple days ago. So if you have a constant diet of that, that means your body's continually being forced and it's continually adding more. When you've not digested for four, what happens? And now it's a backup. Now your body essentially is a sewer. Yeah. And what does sewer smell like? So when you have strong odors, body odor, breath, odor, all those things, a lot of that is because what is in you is producing toxins. And those, those things that, that can't digest over time breaks down. If you took meat and you put it on your kitchen counter for two days, I just put it on for one day, on a, your kitchen counter for one day, just leave it out there. The next day, as soon as you walk into the house, you know it. And it's already starting to break down. And will you eat it? No, you won't eat it. Because it's no longer able to be consumed. So when it's inside of you for a day or so, it begins to break down inside of you and creates what's called toxins, poisons that gets into your bloodstream. And now it's a leech field that goes into every organ, every tissue. It's, a, it's contaminated. It's like drinking contaminated water. Your bloodstream is contaminated by all of the toxins in your artificial sweeteners, artificial ingredients, the high fat, all the things that your body should not have are considered as food your body now has to contend with. This affects your heart, your liver, your lungs, your brain, your energy level, your sleep. The amount of energy it takes to digest meat and the things I'm talking about that's not the natural diet, it takes a tremendous amount of energy. That's why you need eight hours, because your body is trying all it can to digest stuff you had two days ago. So it's constantly in demand, constantly working hard to try and digest a poor eating plan. You go to bed tired, you wake up tired, because your body just haven't had the energy to do what it needs to do to function healthily. And when you give your body what it needs, the natural things it needs, it burns well. It's like a furnace. The things that burn well in a furnace, or if you make a campfire, the things that burn well are natural things. Wood burns well. Leaves burn well. Natural things burn well if you're trying to burn something. But if you take some synthetic, some man-made, or some composite, like plastics or whatever, and you try to put it in there, it's burn, it doesn't burn well. It smokes, it stinks. But when you give it something natural, it burns quickly. Same thing with our bodies. When you give it what it needs, our bodies function so well and so healthfully. 
you'll feel better, you'll look better. You have mental clarity, you have a sense of well-being. You won't get sick. People around you are having all of the issues. Things begin to change because different things are coming in. And the same is true, what, I mean, physically what we eat, but mentally, that's how we talk about keeping a diet of the spirit, listening to the word of God, reading the word of God, meditating on God's word day and night. That keeps us healthy mentally, emotionally. Just picking up that word, just like you would eat just a couple times a day, or maybe reading that word a little bit, or listen to it on audio. Praying, being around like-minded people. A new environment changes your life. And God intends for us to live that life that's the abundant life that he always desires for us. Being healthy is difficult. Being healthy is difficult because you got to change. You got to eat well. You got to cook your foods. You got to work out. You got to exercise. You got to go through all of that just to be healthy. Come on, pastor. But being sick is difficult. You got to take medications. You got doctor's appointments. You got the ill feelings. You got low energy level. You have all the things that robs you of vitality. So being healthy is hard and being sick is hard. Choose your heart. Choose. You get to choose the life that God has for you. Or well, you could deny it and go with whatever is quick and convenient and pay the consequences of the sad way that we live as Americans. You don't want to be in your latter years where you can't see and can't hear and can't walk and don't know anybody. The Bible says we should live our life like a candle that burns brightly from beginning to end. You notice a candle, when it burns down, it doesn't get dull as it burns down. You notice that? It gives away the same amount of light, and then it flickers and goes out. That's how you want to live. You want to live vibrant, living just as full of life, just as healthfully. Moses was 120 years, listen to this, 120 years when God took him. He said his eyes had not dimmed, neither had his strength failed him. 120 years our body is designed to live. Moses, 120 years, didn't need Visine or Viagra. That's you. You don't need pills to keep you going. Pills to get you up in the morning. Pills to go to sleep. I need energy pills. I now I need pills because I'm constipated. Now I need pills to, that I'm going too much. You, know, you, don't, you, you need to live the life and live what you desire. Jesus answered, for this cause I was born. And for this cause I have come into the world that I should bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. Every darkness in your life exists because of an untruth. Every darkness is there because of an untruth. And if you want to be free, you shall know what? The truth. And the truth shall make you free. Father, we thank you for your blessing.